my channel and if you're not new here please subscribe and leave a like so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to clean out your tortoise's cage so let's get to what it. Keith's cage looks like right now this is Keith so it is quite a mess and his house is literally falling apart because he likes to knock down the walls so we're gonna start the bedding what we use um, and it's a reptile bedding and it works really nicely it's from pets at home and it's also suitable for snakes and lizards and it lasts quite a while but we normally get about two bags of this because we use it for the lizard as well so. so i've got my gloves on and i'm going to be starting to get all the bedding out and putting it into a black bin liner but first we need to put keith on the floor so let's pick him up and as you can see Keith does not like to be picked up because he likes to be like a like a frog she's gonna lay him on the carpet and he'll just walk around soon he'll probably be hiding in the fireplace and all that so we have to be careful we have to keep watching him so so why I'm taking so long is because I couldn't get my glove my glove on and it was just stuck my finger was stuck so anyway silly me so what I'm doing right now is I am putting the tortoise house, I'm taking it apart because it clips together, I'm taking it apart and I'm, I'm putting it into a corner so when I take all the bedding out it'll be easier so it can just easier to move around because it is quite big. And I'm just moving all the toys and the logs, the water bowl, and I'm just going to go and empty it in the sink, but make sure that there's no bits in it so then it doesn't get stuck down the drain. Then what I will be doing when I come back is I'm going to be doing the food bowl with my strawberry socks. <laughs> so I'm just emptying the food bowl because it is quite old, the food, uh, probably a couple of days old, um, because he had lettuce and some salad and I'm putting all of it into a court, into a pile, so it'll be easier to pick up. So, I'm going to be using a black bin liner to put it in, and so then it can just go straight into the bin. And it is taking quite a while because I didn't have a scoop, and it was quite hard to pick it up. And there was quite a bit of strawberries in there because Keith didn't eat his leftover strawberries because Keith absolutely loves strawberries, but absolutely loves them, he'll eat them all day. Um, and there is some salad because he likes to be quite messy and just leave it around, but so that's why I'm cleaning this out and there's a lot of poo. And there was quite a bit of dry bits. Um, and the one that I'm touching right now, it was it was the one where he peed, so I ended up having to watch that because it didn't go it didn't go into the video because my phone died. But it is taking quite a while, but no, it didn't matter. It didn't really matter. There's a strawberry. <laughs> And my mum just walked in and gave me a piece of paper. So, thank you. So, I was just scraping all of the bedding into the corner because there's quite a bit in the corners. And, yeah, and then I was just picking it up because obviously you can see it. So, you don't need to see it. You don't need to it. And then his little house fell down basically put that back in. And I went into the corner where the house was to get all the hay out. And it doesn't really matter if you don't get all of it out because you're gonna be putting new hay in and it doesn't really bother them. So So it isn't taking too long. a lot of dry bits so he has probably he has not probably <coughs> so 
then I just ran off because I saw um, Keith run into the desk. So I literally ran off as quickly as I could because I didn't want him to lose him. So. house back into another corner so I could get all the hay out of the corner that it was in. because my gloves wouldn't let me so I ended up having to take my gloves off. The reason why I was wearing gloves is well, just wear gloves anyway but it's because I had mosquito bites all over my arm and I didn't want to get infected. But you should wear gloves anyway. spreading it about and I forgot to put my gloves back on so I was just moving it back into the corner so I could put some of the bedding into that corner and Started to try and then I started to put the tortoise house, um, house back together. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building back Keith's little house. Try and put his house back together. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cleaning. Well, we're, we're going to be remaking Keith's house back up together because we have put the sawdust down and it's looking good. be putting all the toys in or logs back in. So now I'm going to be filling up the water bowl and putting it back in there and same with the food bowl.
going to be putting the food into the food bowl and what I use is a tortoise diet especially because he, we use this is because he's a Russian a Russian um, Russian tortoise so this is the type of food that he gets given he gets given powder with it that can help him digest it but we don't have any more of that so trying to get through there but a couple of minutes ago he was he was like he was there then he moved all the way down there into that corner and into that corner it's just lucky he didn't go into the fire so well he's got in, he's got in he's back in his cage and i think I've done quite a decent job Normally he would get like strawberries and lettuce and some sort of salad with it because he doesn't always just eat that. But it's Keith. Keith's favourite food is strawberry. And he literally just gulps down strawberries. But he is quite the handful and he's really heavy and he's really wriggly. So this is Keith. Thank you guys for watching and if you want any more videos to do with animals or DIYs, because my channel is a bit of a mix of everything, so comment down below what any other videos you want me to do. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!